We go straight down the middle. And are they both orthodox fighters? Maybe a bit of, bit of both. A bit of both. Uh, Shaquille are very technical. Mass, extremely technical fighters. Um, and Stevie, just given the rules to them right now, protect yourself at all times. When I say stop, you stop. No punches to the back of the head or back of the neck. Beautiful glove touch there. Very peaceful. That's all about to go out the window almost immediately. So you want to get the respectful stuff out of the way because as soon as that bell rings, it's your enemy in there, not your friend. Let's dance, baby. But Iron Fist Gym, amazing. You're going to hear them in the background, guys, on the live stream at home. Uh, Daniel Bell, very, very vocal there in his corner. these ladies got to keep landing those turned out of the quench a little bit there broken up by the referee up in the clinch there referee separates them full reset right now it's just a bit of a, a power hustle for the first round keep in mind it's five two minute rounds so i don't want to burn everything in the first just keeping that clinch seeing who's more dominant in the clinch gaining a bit more power Shaquille are right on the weight limit, 52.5 kilos. Uh, Nass actually a kilo under the weight limit, 51.6. Okay. So it comes in a fair bit lighter. And you'd imagine it at this sort of weight, that, that extra difference, does it make a big impact or? Well, I mean, Nass is coming in a lot lighter, whereas Shaquille is, is, is at our limit, so she's going to be a little bit bigger, a little bit more powerful. Uh, it all depends on her weight cut as well. I don't know too much about how they cut for it, but uh, Nass has always been quite a light girl. So her cut might have been a little bit easier, meaning that she might be a little bit more hydrated for this one. The weigh-ins last night, they had a, uh, a good amount of time to rehydrate everyone on the card today. It's looking pretty even. We're really seeing a, a nice little steady exchange from both girls there in round one. Just focusing on getting in there, getting the nerves out of the way. A lot of knees in the clench though, just trying to swing each other around, get that little bit of power dominance in the clench. Yeah, you could see them really getting a feel for each other in that round. As you stated, it is five rounds, so they are going to want to pace themselves. You don't want to be burnt out towards the third, fourth, fifth. And that title fight on the line, that's obviously going to add that extra pressure. Who doesn't want a belt? Man, I, I would love a good title belt. Actually, I've got a, uh, got a WWE belt at home. Just, just a good old-fashioned John Cena WWE belt that spins. Very happy with it. No, that's unheard of. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, no, I'm sitting next to you, man. <laughs> All right, seconds out. Coaches, get out of the ring. The girls want a box. Let's get to the action. Round two. It's getting a bit more scrappy now. They're offloading a bit more. Big knees exchange there. Oh, the spinning back elbow, mate. you got to love that. I do appreciate the spinning back elbow. Push there from Nass. Yeah, bring a lot of pressure this round, Nass. But Shakela isn't seeming to let it get to her with plenty of nice returns. Nice little one two set up there. Big kick to the fight there. That's a stinger. For those of you watching the live stream, this is why you love Ian Bronson's promotions. Rumble at the Ridge. 42. 42 of these fight nights with. 
30 plus fights every single show coming at you guys here at Bracken Ridge Indoor Sports Centre. And they're all fairly matched fights, great fighters, and loads of entertainment for you guys at home. Yeah, you must be doing something right if you make it to the 42nd, that's for sure. So we're in round number two here. We do have the double trivia Queensland Adam Wakefield. Oh, those knees have broken her. Nice. From the red corner. Holy moly. First eight count coming out. Shakela fairly winded there. You think you've got an idea how a fight's going to go, then you see just a barrage of needs like that. No. Shakela not giving up that easy. But now staying on the attack. Goes knees again. No. Oh my God. Second eight count. One more eight count. It's over. Well, my heart is beating. I don't know what's going on with the girls <laughs> in the ring, but this is <laughs> exciting. Nasna. Oh, that's the end. Saved by the bell. Well, we're going to get another round. That's what we like that to see. That means the eight counts reset. Get another two eight counts. So walk us through that, Ben. We get two sets of eight count each round. Determined by the referee, you start with, of course, a 10-10 round. One eight count means you lose a point, so it becomes 10-9. If they're winning the round, it becomes 10-8. A second eight count, 10-7. And uh, a third eight count in the same round, it's over. But uh, very rarely will a referee let it get to that stage. So if uh, Nass comes out firing and Shigala goes down this round, it could be over. So Shigala's gonna take her time, get those breaths in in that corner, because those knees she does not want to experience again. Yeah, well, you're definitely seeing that killer instinct coming out from Nas. Really capitalising on the advantage that she has at the moment and looking to take that bell. She doesn't want to leave it up to the judges. Nas coming out again. She knows those knees are landing. She's trying to get back right into that clench, land those powerful knees down the middle. Shakala still keeping her composure, looks to get into the clinch. A little bit reserved, I reckon. Just, she doesn't want to get hit. She's trying to protect her lower half a bit. Dropping the gloves a little bit as well. Huge jab connecting there from Nas. Yeah. Shakela was going for a knee then, and Nash just counter punched right down the middle. You don't want to be in that clench, Shakela. Get out of there before those knees get out. Yeah, that looks like a bad try. Man. Round number three at five. is just finding a counter for everything at the moment. Yeah, she's looking very switched on. Oh, Shakela's got to gain that respect again. A few push kicks, few teeps. Get that range. She's got to do something here to earn that respect back. Seconds left round at number three, I believe. She was better that round. Yeah, props to Shakela. She's stayed through that. She had a bit of the storm coming at her in round two. She's gotten through to round four. It's still anyone's fight. Nass well and truly ahead on the scorecards, but. A knockout stops that. Look, Shakela's done enough to earn herself the title fight. She's not going to waste this opportunity. It's interesting to see what comes out of the next round. Man, you've got to give it to, to everyone. Male, female, all types of fighters. They all know how to put on a show. 
and uh, it is incredible watching some of these young ladies start to be up and comers in the Muay Thai world. It's very exciting to see this kind of quality coming out of the the grassroots amateur scene. Very engaging fights. Round number four coming your way. doing what she's done. It's worked for the last two rounds, so she's trying it again straight out with the clench and the punches. Both girls taking turns on the ropes here, looking to get those very devastating knees to the thigh. I tell you what, those are not fun. Mass four kicks in a row now to the car. Shakayla taking some deep breaths here. Look at that heart. She's ready to go. She's not giving up. You've got to love the heart on Shakayla. You're right, completely right. She never gives up. Beautiful combo there from Mass. Those punches are fighting at home every time. Yeah, very sharp. She's dead. Oh, and there again. Those body shots, that can be really hard. You start grasping for air. Oh. Second eight count of the round at number four here. Look, anybody can get in the ring and play fighting, but you see a real fighter when you overcome the adversity. Shakela putting up the knee guard now. She knows Nass is going to go for those knees. Shakela trying to do a spin back elbow. It doesn't land, but it'll break her up from the clinch. 10 seconds left for round number four. Shakela's going to keep strong here. Stay active. This is what Muay Thai is all about. Nas really needs to stay where she is now and just keep picking away, but Shikayla is not just going to give her up to her. No, Shikayla's going, you want that win, you better knock me out. So I'm not going down without a fight. Shikayla's just gotta, she's just gotta watch out for those knees, mate. That's devastating knees. Four knockdowns from knees alone, knees straight to the sternum. It's a very bad time. But to get back up after that, that shows true heart, that's true warrior spirit. Mate, they, that's what they teach us, spirit yeah. Muay Thai. Nice segue, mate, I love, <laughs> I love that for you at home. I, I hope you enjoyed that at home. Mate, I just didn't, I, I didn't know whether you knew that you made a pun then or not, I just wanted to make sure you knew. It was a very great pun. Yeah, just wanted to serve up a little easy volley for you, mate. <laughs> One, two, alley -oop. All right, here we go. Final round, championship round here. And look, now straight back in, looking for those brutal knees. Well, they're working, they're, they're working every time. Shikala's got to get those push kicks. Oh, nice throw down. Shikala's got to build that range. She's really got to build that range with some kicks. Those knees are finding a home in the stadium again. Oh, she fell that one. Pops the both girls there. Mouse chest was relentless. She she never backed down. She kept choosing her shots. Four kicks in a row now to the car. Hitting at every level. Yeah. And a beautiful defense from Shikai. Yeah. Absolutely.
fifth and final round of clearing, you'll win a $100.